So, this is our, our house. It's destroyed. There's nothing left to it. Nothing left. Thank goodness we weren't staying here last night. There's my rain tank towers gone. Bathroom's still standing. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe it's still standing. Yeah, I'll just show you inside real quick. This back wall here, we almost lost that completely. And there's Ashley's kitchen. Got a lot of work to do to put it back together. It's never gonna look the same, that's for sure. Cyclone and about the cyclone. Can you handle that? So hot right now. <laughs> Can't even it think really, right now. It is really hot. I had Savatra. How do you say it? Sriracha. Sriracha. And I'm hot now because of that. Oof, I feel like dizzy. Can't breathe. <laughs> oh, get some wind flowing through here. Alright, so we need to talk about cyclone we had lost all of our footage of the cyclone during the cyclone we got a couple of little clips of what our house looked like right after the cyclone but nothing in detail um, so when did the, the cyclone was called gita g-i-t-a and it was a category four we did not feel comfortable staying at our house so we grabbed as much stuff as we could carry in our car left and stayed with some friends in another village. We went and stayed in a village where it floods. But, but we would prefer floods than our roof disappearing. Yeah. And a much more secure house is just the floodwaters kind of came up to about your, right below your knee, right? Yeah, it came up, all was coming up all night long. And it, it stopped right at like, the top step of the right house. Right at the top step of the house. Stop. What, two steps up? Three yeah. Two steps up. Very, I've never seen anything like it before. Yeah, the amount of water that was pouring, it was like filling up like a bowl. It was the wind, really. It was oh, yeah, just the sound too. of the wind and seeing trees like breaking and falling all over the place. It's, it's pretty It's pretty crazy. Yeah. We lost power somewhere around 9, I think. They shut off the power just to be safe, which was a good idea. Yeah. And uh, we stayed up. I mean, you can't really sleep when it's like that. It was, it was very humid. It was very loud. It's very loud. So, we weren't ever scared. Like, it wasn't until the second end of the night where the wind shifted directions and then it started coming at this other side of the door. We had to board it up. We have that on. We had that on video. It was us boarding up the doors and windows, and the windows looked like they were going to explode the amount of pressure. But during the storm, Moni kept going back and forth, saving, saving chickens. chickens. During the entire craziness outside. How many did he save? 14 or something? Something like, maybe 16, but I don't think many of them made it. They were in too much shock. We very strongly believe that we should not be at home, mostly because there's this woman I've never met before, sent me a message on Facebook, and she said she had a crazy dream, it seemed really real or something that my house was going to be destroyed and we're going to lose everything during a cyclone. Um, and I'm not a really like mystical person, but I just just ached in the back of my head. And I had grown passion fruit vines around my entire house to anchor the house down, which I believe that it worked, but we weren't there to see it. But I guess my neighbor's house ripped in half, flew through the air, and just slapped my roof and busted all my bamboo rafters and collapsed the roof into the house. 
So the only reason why I say that, the only reason why the roof fell is because of the roof hitting it, is because everything was inside the house. If the storm took it, it would have blown it away. So I'll never really know if my passion for the vines was successfully holding down the roof or not. But yeah, we lost a lot of stuff. Everything got destroyed. The easiest part was the storm. It was the two weeks that followed. That was the hardest. Yes, there was no shade anywhere. There was no leaves on any trees. Um, yeah, that morning when we all got up, it was just yeah. eerie. Yeah, I walked outside in knee deep water and I just, I just started to cry because I, just saw all the people's homes destroyed, and I just saw everything destroyed, all the roads impassable, um, power lines everywhere, um, and I just knew that when I went to my house, it wasn't going to be a house anymore. I knew it. I just had this feeling, and I was right, because me and the boys got on bicycles, um, and we biked over to our house in Bouquet, where the skate park is, and when I got there, my stomach just dropped. That was a, a hard sight to see. To see everything you've worked so hard to build just shredded up. For the third time, pretty much. I mean, this was really bad. This one was the worst. Of it was definitely the worst, but... Yeah. The other two storms, we didn't have any of our stuff in the house for it to get destroyed. Yeah, in. right. But this one, we lost not just our roof and almost our walls, but we lost a lot of other stuff as well. Yeah, it was shocking. It was like, I looked at it and I was thinking, there's just, there's no way we can fix it up. I think I got heat stroke every day after work. I would yeah. feel so sick from the sun. We found a place that was selling ice. So we'd buy ice to keep things cold and then put on Chris's head because he was just overheating. And he was trying to work on the house with no power tools. It was just all hand saws. But I had a lot of help from, from all of our friends here, which was really good. Everyone yep. kind of came behind us and helped us get a roof back on our house pretty quick. Uh, so, which was um, it was so really, nice. really cool. Yeah. Other it's... times it, we had to just do it just us, and that made it difficult. Yeah. And also having help from people overseas, I mean, people back home are family and church and friends, just people pitching together to help us, which was huge. I think I would have just cried if we didn't. So yeah, we rebuilt our house and I didn't want to go too crazy because we were trying to build our new house over on the new land, so I didn't really want to do it, but, but I took all the old rafters, the bamboo rafters, sliced them all up, got some uh, eucalyptus trees put a eucalyptus tree in the center of our house to anchor down the new roof um, and use the bamboo strips for the whole front making it look like a giant fan making it circular so the wind kind of goes around the roof so I don't know hopefully I don't have to go through another cyclone season in this house no, I just don't want to I mean, already when it rains, it just drips all over. All over. It drips in Ariel's bed, it drips in our bed. Ariel's is the worst. Well, the tarps are starting to deteriorate on the roof. Yeah, actually, we're, yeah, we're still using the tarps from Australia. Hey? So, and as the sun gets hotter and hotter, it's just going to break down the tarps until there's nothing left and water's just going to pour in everywhere. So. Yeah, it's just not fun. We're kind of tired of it. It's been like... Almost six years that we've had a we've had a tarp roof, and I'm not complaining, but I really like a metal roof. Yeah. Just to feel that security, especially during lightning storms, I just don't feel safe. I know, but wouldn't you feel more unsafe with a metal no, roof during a lightning storm? No, because the lightning storm. would travel around it. Uh, just like when someone wears a sh uh, armor, you're uh, safer because it travels around it. Yeah, but don't I have to like put a oh, copper right. wire down to the ground so it like grounds the roof? I don't know about that. I just know that if lightning hits a tarp, it's just gonna end wood. It's just gonna go and go all the way through. Whereas if it hits a metal roof, it's gonna go around. Okay, okay. That's cyclone Gita kicked my butt. Yeah, 
recycling key to oh. oh, the cleanup. Yeah, yeah, the passion fruit was ridiculous inside the house. The vines were ridiculous. Mm. And the amount of coconut leaves and nasty water. Mm. Mm. Wetness mm. and bugs. And, mm. Oh, cleaning everything. The drawers and... Everything. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Almost finished. Bamboos on good. Sanded down some of my trees. Some of my trees. It's not. Right there. Solid as a rock. Solid as a rock! Smile, Lindy.